It happened unexpectedly. While searching for items in a small coastal town, another survivor came approaching at my back. He was shouting unintelligibly, like some maniacal vagrant, and made me flinch. I typically try to avoid confrontations. Heck, my first inclination has always been to run away. Having been hacked and shot dozens of times already, I learned trusting others will, more often than not, get you killed. Naivety isn't a desirable trait in a world overrun by zombies. This time was different. I didn't run, even though I wanted to. My instinct of flight had suddenly evaded me. Instead, conquered by an overwhelming impulse to fight. Rather than trying to escape, I reacted violently, regressing to my most primordial survivor self. Try as I might, it was as though I wasn't in control. I couldn't stop it. Friendly, I heard him say. I didn't care. My fire axe, found in a barn minutes before, came swinging down into his skull, blood spewing from his head like a broken faucet. It happened so fast, it took me a moment to realize what had happened. Leaning over his dead body, I felt a slight hint of remorse. I think I even said sorry out loud. But after a brief moment, however, when it really started sinking in, I didn't feel much of anything. I actually felt kind of relieved now that I think about it. I finally killed a guy, an unarmed one, but I did it. Even if he did say friendly, it was probably just a trick. That happens a lot in DayZ. He probably just wanted my axe or simply hoped to scare me. I could just as easily have been the one killed or at least knocked unconscious. Shocked as I was, my early coping mechanism, classic victim mentality, allowed me to justify what happened. I did it in self-defense. I did it because there was no other option. If I didn't kill him, he would have killed me. I might have actually saved someone's life. But the situation didn't need justifying. In a post-apocalyptic world, it's either you or them. Might as well be them. That's how it all started. My abrupt but satisfying crime of passion gave me an unsatiable taste for virtual blood. From then on, I began hurtling toward a long, dark descent into inescapable madness, unhinged and detached from my pre-Daisy humanity. After hours of looting, surviving, exploring, something within me suddenly snapped. All I wanted to do was kill. Instead of trying to survive, instead of minding my own business as I usually did, I became blinded by an uncontrollable desire to murder. New spawns, bandits, friendlies, it didn't matter. If we crossed paths, one of us was going to die. It was as though I transformed from Smeagol to Gollum in the blink of an eye, and it completely changed how I played. If I died, it didn't matter. If you died, it gave me immense pleasure and became my sole reason for playing. Before this incident, I was harmless and had never even shot at another player, let alone killed someone. I don't consider myself a natural born killer, when given the choice in games, I always follow the good path. In Infamous 1 and 2, for example, not once did I choose the evil option, even on repeat playthroughs, and I always made an effort to avoid hurting innocent bystanders whenever possible. In Red Dead Redemption, I guided John Marston toward a life of altruism and only killed when absolutely necessary. In the rare instance when I was unable to help someone in Red Dead Redemption's random events, I felt bad. Despite having no personal connection to these nameless NPCs, I felt obligated to treat them like living humans to protect them from harm. I don't get that feeling when playing DayZ. Not anymore. 
now I just kill. Not in self-defense, but because it's morbidly and deeply satisfying. Cleansing even. I hunt, lie, and shoot without provocation. I trick people into thinking I'm friendly and attack when their guard is down. The more a person resists, the more I indulge. The satisfaction of taking a player's life makes me cackle and howl like a deranged animal. If I die, which occurs regularly, I simply run for the nearest town and seek death out like a can of pristine tuna. I didn't plan on it being this way. I'm not a bad person. But after 30 or so hours of playing by the rules, of trying to survive how I would in real life, Daisy got old. Boring. In the game's current state, there's only so much you can do, with little incentive to survive long term. I often found myself with a backpack, stuffed with food, traveling from town to town, encountering the occasional zombie. But it got lonely and mind-numbingly repetitive. Daisy, even an alpha, is an excellent simulator that forces players to find food and seek protection. That's the main objective, so to speak and you're free to abide. But it's much deeper than that. Daisy is, more or less, a loose demonstration of how mankind would react when society crumbles. There are no rules, meaning you have zero control of the outcome. And it's that unpredictability that makes Daisy such a thrilling experience. And the reason why, following that first incident, I lust so wildly for blood. Beyond that, nothing else matters.